Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm gonna show you how to add, like, how to make a quick map. Um, this is making one, not adding one, because, you know, you can't just add a map. So I'm gonna show you, instead of making these blocks, so, first go to Window, Package Manager, in Unity Registry, make sure you're signed in, uh, make sure you're signed in at the top left, if you're not, just click sign in, and then it'll bring you somewhere. And then, right here, search up Pro, space, B, or no. Pro B, and then this should pop up. Just install it wherever it says like uh, import or install or download or whatever, and then close that up. And now uh, click Tools, Pro Builder, Pro Builder window, and uh, I'll just show you. This should just this window type thing should pop up. Now I usually like grabbing it right by the Pro Builder sign, like not the gray next to it, but the actual text here. Bring it to the bottom right. That's the easiest place because you can still see your inspector stuff, and then you can also see Pro Builder. So you can like mess with stuff here. You can right click here, use like icon mode. Usually it'll start with icon mode. No, it'll start with text mode. I usually use text mode. So what you can start with is in your, in your hierarchy, right click, click uh, Pro Builder, and then click where is it? Click plane. This is like probably the easiest way. Um. Also, I'm taking inspiration with, from someone else's tutorial on this. Um, link in the description to their channel. So, you'll see these four tools at the top. Click this one. It's called uh, Vertex Selection. And just kind of select vertex is, you know, make make how, like, shape out the edgy, how, how you want the edge of your map to be. So, you can have it like this, you know, might maybe come in a little bit. Go back. It can go this way out here go even farther out go here yeah I'm just gonna time lapse building this okay and once you're like uh, almost done make sure to have like one of these not messed with so right here you want this flat surface just don't mess with this one or this one just keep that there trust me you'll know why later Okay, so once you're done, um, you know, making your map how you want it, I'm actually gonna push these in a little bit. Use your edge selection and just select all the outside edges. So hold shift while clicking all the outside ones. Make sure just to select outside ones, not any of the inside ones. Okay, once you uh, got it all, just click hold control and then tap E and I'll bring it up so you can let go. And then just use the up arrow. Now this is, uh, this is what I like to do. Um, also remember where your, that flat surface was. Um, oh dang it. I accidentally, okay. Just bring that up and then make sure at the top left, this is the easiest way. Do center, not pivot, center. Because if you do pivot, it'll be on the edge and then when you move it, it's all weird. So make sure this is center and then click control E. And you'll see it'll just go straight in, which is kind of what you want, but you don't want it straight in. So just move it up just a tad bit, maybe scale it down some more if you want. And then that is your map, that simple. Now, if you want different textures on the floor versus the walls or even the upper walls, use this face selection. And then you can um, hold shift and just drag across your area. Make sure not to select any of the walls, just, just select your floor. And then right here, bottom right, where it says uh, detach faces, Click that, and you have an extra plane here, but that means you could put a different texture on it. So I'm gonna put a grass texture on here, and you could put a stone texture on the walls. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. And about the uh, that flat wall you did right here, I'm assuming this is where I, ha I had it, I don't remember. Just tap that wall and see how it's like long. You don't want like a long um, tunnel. So you can click, uh, where is it? Click subdivide object two times. I usually like doing it two times. Um, oh, I subdivided the whole map. Okay, you don't want to subdivide the whole map. Just select this one. And oh, I click subdivide object. Um, you want to subdivide faces. Sorry, subdivide faces. Two, I do it two, two times. Is about right. And just shift click those four down there. Use the object selection. No, wait. Yeah, you have to have face selection and then use the move tool hit ctrl e and then use a blue 
arrow and move it out and that is your tunnel so you can have a tunnel to like a shop or something and uh i'll show you how to do like a, a curvy tunnel so you can click Control e and use this uh green face or whatever face you have and you can turn it anywhere and like use the t spin tool and you can just keep Control e keep Control e -ing. and then you have uh what do you call it your own thing Control e and then once you know where you want your next map to be, control E again, kind of line it up with the edge, but just a little bit forward. So you see there's this and there's that tiny line right there. And then just straight up scale it up about here is good. And then use the sideways scale. Then move it up. So the bottom of it reaches the door like that. See how it kind of lips down a little bit. You don't want it to lip down too much. That's good. And then you can control E again and move it forward and then you have your own room. If you don't want a roof, just while you're using the face tool, shift click the roof and then click um, delete faces, I think. Oh yeah, I missed one. Delete faces. Now you have your um, own map and if you want to do the same thing you did on your other map so you can't get out, uh, just select your things right here. Edge selection. Once you selected the edges, you can control E and then scale it down and pull it up. And that's how you make a map with another room. And remember, if you want different textures, you can shift click some certain sides. If you wanted just this wall to be a different texture, um, you could detach faces and then put like a dirt texture on it. I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, how you make a map with a tunnel. And I'm actually going to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna make it empty. Hold on. I'm gonna make it empty. I'm gonna call it map. I'm gonna put my planes in here. Put that in there. And then now you can like mess with the whole map. Well, since there's it's actually two maps, so I'm gonna put like maps. And you can move it and move it to where your old map was. And just all you gotta do is move it exactly where you want it and just scale it up or scale it where you won't need it. I'll make it pretty big because it's a map, so. That's a good size. And then, uh, now you can delete all your old stuff. I wouldn't, I'm not going to delete the platforms because I like my platforms. But, yeah. Then you can um, move out, move your cosmetics around. put my cosmetics here and then this light right here i'm gonna just i'm gonna move it over here maybe move it up control e i mean control d move it over here maybe oh yeah um actually never mind um that's how you do that now you have a nice tunnel and a, a nice map bye